SKF is a security uh, tool which is useful for the pen testers, developers, uh, security champions, even the pe people like you know who want to get started into the web application security. Uh, this tool is is very famous in terms of like you know they have it, it's it can be used in a multiple ways. So today what we are going to do is I'll, I'll give you a quick demo on how to use this tools tool based on uh, what like you know what your use case is and then also first we'll start with uh, why this tool is so useful and and where, who should be who should be using it so please hit the thumbs up button uh, like you know please hit the like button it's just gonna take a second if you enjoy this free content and uh, we'll get uh, get started with the video now so uh, as, I, as I said like you know this is for guiding it, it guides you to build like a secure software uh, if you all know about the SDLC software development lifecycle and as part of the software development lifecycle uh, first step is gathering the security requirements uh, how does a developer gather security requirements and especially if you are a small uh, like you know startup or, or a mid-sized organization where they don't have a full-size security team or maybe you are just a consultant helping your customers to like you know build a secure software so this tool will help you uh, immensely to uh, provide security requirements to them so they can build it and uh, security always gets cheaper like you know secure fixes is always cheaper when you fix it at the start of the project rather than like you know after you do the pen test so this one uh, will help like you know in the pre-development as well as after the code is released how uh, because first in the pre-development it will tell you okay you need like an you know, input validation you need uh, maybe like you know csp header maybe you need like this headers uh, if it's a mobile application what kind of other security requirements so it will give you all the requirements step by step developers can look through these requirements and decide uh, like you know how to implement it and then once that's implemented as a pen tester you can test out those uh, those uh, requirements that whether it has been fulfilled or not now SKF uses the ASVS, which is Application Security Verification Standard. I think we have done a bunch of uh, like you know uh, videos on it. If you haven't seen that, please look it up. Uh, how the ASVS works. So it uses ASVS in the background. Uh, that's how it generates the checklist. But it's uh, like you know good tool where it's like UI based, so uh, you can easily navigate. So let's without wasting much time, let's quickly jump onto the demo where I can show you how this SKF uh, really works. So this one is the online version of it, uh, like for just for the demo purpose. But uh, I would suggest you should uh, host it in your own environment uh, if you want to, like you know, keep it. Uh, of course, this information is very confidential because you can also update the requirements. You can add your custom requirements. There might be a lot of confidential data, so uh, use it on your own instance and and host it rather than like you know using the public one. And also this one cleans up uh, every now and then. So for the demo version, uh, you can, I think you can, yeah, just use the username password admin and password is test hyphen SKF. So now once you log in, uh, you'll have this screen and you can see there are different personas here. One is developer. Uh, before you start writing your code, make sure you're using the right security requirements. Then if you're a pen tester, you can improve your skills in pen testing by doing hands-on labs in real software and vulnerable applications. So you get the, the uh, labs to get on. Training labs, uh, you can train and educate yourself in offensive and defensive security with hands-on lab using a real OS and vulnerable labs. And then you can also customize the checklist uh, to your specific need to your project will even add a new checklist. So, and, and you can uh, access all of them here. So for example, when you go to checklist, you can see all the checklists for uh, here. You have filter web application. If you click on mobile application, you will see all the mobile application checklist. When you click here, it will load all the details. What are the like, you know, requirements should be fulfilled if this is in your case. And then there is also knowledge base. Knowledge base is very, impo uh, very important because uh, you as a pen tester or security personal person, you don't need to set, sit with like, you know, developer to teach them everything. If they have any issues, what they can do is they can click here, read more. Uh, actually, they can also search here, right? So for example, XSS, uh, they can search here and access injection. They can see what the description is, how to mitigate, etc. And if you're hosting this on your, on your, uh, like, you know, uh, project uh, pretty much on your secure instance then you can also update it 
uh, you can modify as per your your programming language or some examples what your team uses and then you can save it so this can be multi like you know used multi multiple times by different people uh, so yeah these are these are uh, so let's go back here we'll we'll get started as a developer what you can do is let's say i'm building a new web application where it has like you know uh, simple username password login and then uh, some management functions uh, when i when i uh, log in so what we we are going to do is we are going to say test project oops and then we'll say version 1.0 and same description create now let's so let's look up our test project uh, which seems here so first thing uh, once you click on it what you want to do is you want to generate the requirements so uh, to do that it has like you know sort of like a wizard where you finish up all the question and at the end it will give you the bunch of requirements so first select what kind of checklist it is uh, we are designing web applications so i'm going to select that what is the maturity so level one is a maturity for like you know default for all the applications level two is when you have data in the application which is somewhat confidential and level three is for mission critical and this definition you can find in detail in the application security verification standard OWASP uh, so you can take a look so currently let's assume we have level two application now here are the categories which we need to select uh, which is applicable to our application so my application has authentication uh, so of course you need session management then you need access control it has some uh, file upload functionality so I'm gonna select that it is based on the API so I'm going to select it and then say, click on next then configure the sprint so what are the app uh, requirements applicable in this sprint so let's just I ideally I would say like you know everything is applicable for us but uh, let's just select yes only these requirements are something we are going to include in this current sprint and are you going to add to the existing or a new fee, uh, new one so we'll say okay we'll probably create a new one new feature so let's just say sprint test march one and here as well let's hit the next button and then once you submit it's going to process and give you the list of requirements uh, which is applicable to this uh, particular project and sprint now one thing is uh, you can also download this as csv and distribute with uh, among the developers so they can also take a look maybe you can uh, but i think the easiest one would be uh, okay i think this is the one that we created so easiest one uh, would be just to uh, interact in the in the application like web itself because here it's very easy right now it says everything is open so once let's say they verify that user password at least uh, characters what they can do is you can click here you can see the guidance uh, and then you can verify as a developer and then you can close it so these are these are all the requirements which we have we have chosen uh, which is shows up here uh, there are some different icons you can also copy and and of course read through so your life will become much more easier because developers can easily go through these requirements by themselves and you don't need to uh, you don't need to like you know worry about and and tell them so once uh, they supply the evidence that they have for example 12 characters here and then they can say mark it as result and you can see the requirement will be closed as a pen tester you can come back you can review the evidence you can test it if you want and then verify that whether this requirement is essentially closed and then you can deploy uh, to the production so that's why this uh, software becomes very easier uh, to easier like you know for any startups especially because if they don't have their own tooling and and their, their own way to define this uh, security requirements so i hope you uh, like this uh, play around there is also like labs here uh, labs here are very much useful because you can learn about like cross-site scripting uh, you can just hit the start button it will take you and like you know you can just go here and start your training uh, you can also read about it uh, what is cross-site scripting and etc so if you are just starting up in the security this is going to be very very helpful for if you learn like this many vulnerabilities I think yeah uh, I'm sure like it, this is going to be very very much useful in your interviews as well and then you can also do training as well yeah, infra ops secure development so yeah everything is like you know at one place uh, so definitely use this one uh, i would i would hi highly encourage to deploy in your as a container in your 
uh, own environment so you don't need to worry about like you know they will clean up this data every now and then so just to avoid that cleanup you can uh, have your own instance uh, but either way try it out there is online version of it uh, if you like it maybe you can implement and if you have any other questions uh, tell me in the comment section and again like you know if you haven't already please hit the like button just going to take a second uh, also let me know if any other uh, suggestions video ideas you have uh, for the future I'll focus on that uh, nothing else thank you very much and I'll see you all next week bye